Have you ever gotten home from a long day of work and you thought, what in the world am I going to fix for my family tonight? Where well, today we have some wonderful recipes that we want to share with you that are meatless, so stay tuned. Hello friends, I want to welcome you to another together. I'm your host, Jill Morricone, and we have an exciting program of meatless entrees planned for you today. First, I want to introduce to you my special guest who's here all the way from Greenville, Tennessee. Her name is Monica Campbell. Thank welcome, you. Monica. Thank We're you. so glad to have you here. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Yes. Now, tell me about your program. Um, you go out and do cooking schools and health lectures and stuff? Tell us about that. Yeah, well, we do um, lifestyle seminars in Light of the Cross. We do, um, we like to put Christ into the seminars again. Mm -hmm. And so that it gives us the power to have victory and also to give honor to God, to have a clear mind. Amen. That's right. And it's yes. something we've done a long time, but you know, no matter how long you do it, you're always growing and learning. Absolutely. You can always learn more. Oh, more definitely. Things. And That's more right. dependent on the Lord. That's right. How many years have you been doing it? Oh, it's been at Many years. Yeah. Many years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's neat. Now, your husband works with you in the ministry, too? Yes, he does. Yes. He also retired a couple years ago. Okay. And he has joined in helping in the bed and breakfast and also in the seminars. Yes, that's right. Uh, Monica also has a bed and breakfast that you guys are invited to go to if you want. You can go to her website. What was your website? PeacefulWatersBedAndBreakfast.com, mm -hmm. and you spell all the words out. All the words. Included the and. Including the and. So, Peaceful Waters Bed and Breakfast. Yes. Com. That's yep. easy. Sounds yes. Good. So you have a bed and breakfast as well. People can go to and um, um, spend the night, and you cook well, vegan food. And well, they come and they spend the night, and they have breakfast, yes. and sometimes they have special meals. Okay. Uh -huh. And we really enjoy it because a lot of people can come for extra meals Absolutely. in front of the fireplace. Yes, that's and right. And be able to just take some time out yes. from their busy that's schedules right. and have a nice dinner. That's right. That's nice. Now, some of the meals that we're making today are recipes that you cook there at your bed and breakfast. Yes, we do. Yes. 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 And our first recipe, um, yes. You cook there for yes. the guests. Oh, that's yes. wonderful. We're going to go to our cheesy potato, right? Isn't that what it's called? Our cheesy potato recipe. Yes. For the cheesy potatoes, you need four large potatoes cooked and cubed, one onion that's chopped, one half cup cashews, one teaspoon sea salt, one half cup water, one tablespoon arrowroot, one large carrot, one half cup water, and two teaspoons tahini. Okay. Yes, let's get started. Now, I like this because it's, it's a different type of cheese sauce here, Monica. Yes, it is. It's very unusual, very different, but like tasty. That. Yes. It's something different and makes it special. Yes. yes. Okay. What, are we, what am I supposed to do here? We're going to start with a blender okay. with some cashews. And with cashews, we want to remember that they need to be healthy cashews. When they have a, um, a rancid odor to it, okay. we know that they're not good and we need to really yes. not use them. So they shouldn't have a very strong odor to them. So Now, you were telling me, Monica, you had gone to South America, right, where they yes. grow these cashews a lot? Yes, and they're very familiar with the idea that when cashews sit too long on the outs, you know, into the heat or not refrigerated, okay. They can easily go rancid, and wow. many times today we use cashews that are rancid and don't even know. And we about don't know it. it. I yeah. didn't know about I don't it until it was addressed it. to me. No. And when I went to South America, that was a big issue. That's they brought it to my attention. Oh. I thought, oh, good. Yeah, that's interesting. We need very to know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you store them in the freezer, would that be a better thing? It would be a good idea. Okay. Okay. Very good idea. Okay. Okay, we're going to add water to that. Now, I noticed that you did, you split up your recipe with half cup water and then half cup water later. Okay, what we want to do is make sure those cashews really get nicely blended okay. and so okay. that they're nice and smooth before you add all your other ingredients because yes. if you add them all, then it doesn't blend as well. Absolutely. Okay, let me put this on the blender. Okay. So this is just one half of our cup of water with the yes. cashews. Okay. Yes. We're going to make some noise. Okay. All right. 
Now, normally at home you would blend it longer? A little bit longer. <laughs> Always to get it sm smoother, because right. right. otherwise, you know, we'd be here all day. Right, yeah. but we're trying to hurry here. So. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're going to add some tahini. This is what gives a nice flavor to these cheesy potatoes. Yes. Okay. And that's just sesame seeds that have oh, been blended okay. out. Mm -hmm. So it's just plain old sesame seeds. Very seed. healthy for you. Yes, that's good. Okay, and we've got some air root. This is like cornstarch, but it's a okay. different product that allows you to allow the, allows the thickness to it. Yes, that's so good. That's so it's helpful. our thickening agent, yes. basically. And we've got one carrot. Okay, we can already cut these in pieces a little bit to help. Yes, it helps to blend <laughs> it. And of course, our rest of our water okay. to make a nice smooth sauce and some sea salt. Don't forget the sea salt. Yeah, that's very important. Because it does make a difference in yes, the taste. <laughs> absolutely. Now, anything else or this is it? Nope, that's it. Okay. Here we go again. comes to kind of a very orange colored um, color to it so it gives that kind of cheesy look yes so, absolutely yeah this is orange enough or normally you would blend it longer you would blend it a little bit more okay. it's always more okay okay and we've got here some potatoes that have been chopped or you know cut out really yes. uh -huh. um, nicely and mm -hmm. been pre-cooked it helps yes. to pre-cook it you don't have to yes. but it's nice to have pre-cooked so it won't take so long oh yeah absolutely okay. it takes a lot of time. so what we're going to do is take these potatoes Mm -hmm. And just fold them into your casserole dish. Good. Okay. And onions. Yeah. Onions just really give it that extra to it. Onions make a big difference. Yes. Yes. And to um, that'd be nice to and being fresh. Oh yeah. Very nice. That's right. So we're just gonna mix that all up. Now this is nice. I'm thinking if you want, uh, like, do a head tips. You know, if you're in a hurry, Monica, and stuff, mm -hmm. and you're trying to, you know, run home and get stuff prepared. I was thinking, um, you could have the cheese sauce made ahead of time. Is that true? Well, I tell you what, this freezes well. Oh, now, now not, that's a good do ahead. Tip. Not everything freezes, remember. Right. But this dish, if you put it in portions, I have frozen, and then you just bake it again, and it tastes okay. almost as good as if it was fresh. Done. That's very nice. And oh so yeah, what we're going to do is pour in okay. just, um, the sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks good. I can see the orange there. I like and that. And the flavor. Yes. And it gives it a tangy, That's right. very nice. I see a carrot chunk, you guys, so I didn't do my job good enough here. <laughs> and just make sure it's um, mixed really well. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. And so that, therefore, we're, um, we don't have any potatoes sitting up on top doing yes. something we don't want it to do. Yes. And so just, you know, and you bake it for an hour at 350. Oh, that's easy. Okay. And it comes really, really nice. It's very mm -hmm. tasty. Oh, yeah, it looks good. I can't yeah. wait to try that. Yes. Yeah, so if you did have it in the freezer, you'd just take out your portion and put it I in the I would take it, for yeah. An hour? Yes. Same. Okay. Yes. Yes. And it works out great. Yes. Yeah, and nice. it keeps its flavor. But you got to remember, good. not always does it keep flavor. But the right. dishes we've tried do. Do? So that's a good thing. Yes. A handy tip to know. Yes. Yes. What entree are we making next here, Monica? The next entree that we're going to make is um, carrot celery burgers. Oh, good. You want to read that recipe for us. Okay. One 16-ounce package of carrots, three stalks of celery, one cup of almonds, two cups of vegetable stock, half a cup of pumpkin seeds, one tablespoon onion salt, one tablespoon onion powder, one teaspoon celery salt, one teaspoon garlic salt, half a teaspoon of garlic granules, half a teaspoon of sage, two and a half cups quick oats, and one cube tofu crumbled. I like this, Monica. It's another easy recipe that we can do. Yes, and a little bit different again. Yes. Using carrots and celery. I like that. Putting your vegetables in. You know, yes. if you ever try to get your kids to eat vegetables, you can say, we just tuck it in these burgers and have them eat the burgers, and it kind of works. I like that, Monica. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm well, going to run the blender again. Yes, you're running the blender <laughs> this is again. My job. Yes. <laughs> All right. What do I put in Well, first? we're going to put the carrots and celery in there. Okay. They're cooked. And we're also going to put some stock water. Now this stock water is water. Yes. How this is water that, that um, we took the celery and carrots and put uh -huh. it in a pot and cooked it up for maybe five minutes. Oh. And doing that, then you have a nice yes. uh, stock water. Yes. 
that you can use here, and if you have extra, you can use it for other recipes. I like that. So it really works out well. Yes, that's very nice. Could you also use, say, leftover soup? Yes. Yes, you could make a variety of different burgers to give it that little extra different okay. flavor to it. Yeah, yeah okay. that would be right. Good. So okay. I put all the stock water in. Yeah. And that's a good way to use all your vegetables. I like that. Your yes. nutrients. Yes. And then the almonds go? Yes, the almonds go. And some more stock water. Oh, this is stock water too. Okay. Yes. All right. And that's everything? Yep, to start now with. Now we'll put it on here. Gonna make noise again. Basically, we want to mash it down so it's mm, fine. Yes. It does get 100%, but that's pretty good. Right, okay. All right, we're going to add some of the seasonings. We've got some pumpkin seeds. Yes. Now, I like you using these nuts because they have a lot of nutrition in them. Yes, especially the pumpkin seeds, too, are very yes. good. It's very good. Okay. Garlic salt. Garlic salt. Um, sage. Oh, yeah, I like sage in burgers. Yes, has onion such a powder. Nice flavor. And garlic granules. Now, what's the difference between garlic granules and garlic powder? They're just been dried differently. Okay. And garlic granules are very strong, and if you really want to give that extra taste to it, yes. garlic granules will do it. Yes. You would bite, and then you'd have all of a sudden a real sharp bite of the garlic. Yes. And some, if they have a problem with garlic granules, mm -hmm. they can use uh, powder in place yes. of it, and they should use a little less because yes. garlic granules are pretty strong. Kind of strong. They okay. Are. And got onion salt. All right. And the last one. All right. And that's it. That's it. And, and we don't need more water, we just blend it up here. Yes. Okay. You might want to give it a stir. Woo! There we go. I must knock that off the counter. There we go. Trying to get all those seasonings down. And it's a good idea not to stir it. Um, oh. And not to stir it at all um, while it's running, you know. Yeah. Because you'll be surprised. <laughs> you might chop up your little wooden spoon or something. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. And we're going to go ahead here. And there we go. Make up our recipe. Do you want me to pour this in or not yeah, yet? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and pour that in. Is that first? Yeah. I'm not sure how that works. It looks so colorful, Monica. Yes. Sorry, I'm right in your way there. I like that. See the carrots and celery gives it good color. Okay. All right, and we're going to take a cube of tofu and All right. break it up and put it into oh, okay. there too. Oh, You want to take some too? You sure. We washed our hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. No. So just smash it pretty fine. Now, I like to use the tofu in here. Does it give it texture or? It gives it texture okay. and it gives that extra that it needs. But That's you don't good. always have to have tofu, but okay. this one's nice with tofu. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There we <laughs> go. Then we need paper towels. Yes. Let me get you one here. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, that's nice because the tofu won't have much flavor. It's just kind of taking on whatever the. Right. Flavor that's why is it's about. really important what we do at the end of this. Yes. Once we put the quick oats okay. in. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and put these rest of these quick oats in. And let's give it a real mix here. Do you want the spatula or are you okay with that? I think this will work. Okay. So the important thing is to really mix it well. Yes. And also what we um, suggest doing is letting it sit for like 10, 15 minutes. Oh, that's a good idea. Because what happens is all the seasonings that you just blended up mm -hmm. in the blender, mm -hmm. It allows everything to um, be absorbed into the oats, into the tofu, yes. so it gives that extra flavor. Yes. And it's yes. nice to make a burger sandwich, or you can add this in a, um, what do you call that, pita bread? Oh, yeah, 
Uh -huh. In a pocket bra? Uh -huh. This is excellent. That'd Break up the burger. Good. Put oh, some yeah. mayonnaise in or some kind of dressing in. That sounds good. Makes or, me hungry. You know, whatever you <laughs> like to nice. add into it. It makes a really nice sandwich that uh -huh. way. Um, you can crumble this so up nice. and dry it and put it on top of a yeah, casserole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. a really nice, um, you have a lot of options with it to have it. I like that. So basically, what you're doing here is trying to mix it all up. Mix well. it really well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't take the time to do that, but that little extra <laughs> makes a it difference. It makes a difference. Yes. Then. Got you. Okay. okay. So remembering the fact that you're going to um, let it sit for 10 to 15 okay. minutes. And, you know, go ahead and do something else. Okay. And I've got a um, kitty jar lid here, yes. which is kind of nice. I think we've done this before. I like that. And yes. you use, um, I used to do, is I used to put oil on here, but I found yes. I was using a lot of oil. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. putting this little saran wrap on here. That may, that's a good idea. I like that. So realizing this should have sat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, and I understand that. we're just going to fill this up and Kay. watch what happens. It's really neat to be able to do this, and it sure makes it easy. Yes, and it saves all that mess because yes. you'd have it like if you tried it with your hands, it'd be sticking to your hands and stuff. Right, so. and watch. All you have to do is turn it over and it immediately comes out. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, it makes a nice burger, nice size. Of course, you could use the smaller one. Yes. You know, make smaller. the smaller burgers if mm -hmm. you like or mm -hmm. whatever. So yeah. it works out really very well. Nice. And so then you just flip it when it gets done? Yes, it does take yes. a little while to cook. And okay. what's a really good idea is when you have a griddle like this on a top. Okay. This helps the cooking. Put it on. Really, yes, okay. put it on top okay. and let it really cook in there and then, yes. of course, turn it over. Yes. But it does take a little while. You've got a lot of food in there right. that still needs to, you know, be right. cooked. Be cooked right. And you want it to be a firm uh, burger. Yes. So. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Oh, I it can't makes wait it really to try nice. that. And yeah. we'll show you at the end of the program, we'll show you what all the food looks like. Yes. You so get to see the burgers. Yes. What are we making next here? Well, the next thing we're going to do is make a special cabbage salad with dressing. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's read that recipe. For the cabbage salad, you need one small cabbage, two carrots, one and one half cup purple cabbage, and three chives. For the dressing, you need one third cup Brazil nuts, one half teaspoon sea salt, one teaspoon honey, one tablespoon olive oil, one quarter cup tofu, one quarter teaspoon garlic powder, and one half teaspoon onion powder. You also need one half teaspoon garlic salt and one half cup water. I like this, Monica, because I think salad is important to any meal. Very much so. Do you know? Yes. I mean, we can have our entree, we can have everything else, but salad is really good for you. Yes, and also having a different variety, not the same thing all the time, mm -hmm. and having some more ideas. Mm -hmm. And that was the idea today is to show you something, a new idea. It's a very good idea, because I mean, traditionally we think of lettuce and tomatoes and maybe cucumbers and a pepper or something, and right. that's like our normal salad, so right. this is different, I like that. Right, yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. Let's, well, let's see how to make it. We're going to start with um, a purple cabbage mm -hmm. and a green cabbage, okay. which really helps, really gives a beautiful color oh, into yeah. the salad. I like that. And so we're going to give it some chops here. Okay, so you just slice it thin like that. Very thin, thin yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And the nice thing about cabbage, you don't have to slice it the other way because it's already going to be individual. Yes. 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 If you can get it just like this, yes. cut in quarters and everything, it's perfect. then it works out great. And here yeah. we have some of our purple one. And let's get some of the green one going. Yeah. Now, cabbage is good for you, too. Oh, very much. Yes. Very much so. Yeah. And often something we don't always pick. That's right. We always pick mm -hmm. other things besides mm -hmm. before we pick this. Oh, yeah, I would. I know I would, definitely. This is delicious. Yes, that's very nice. So we're going to show you how to make something a little bit different. Arrange it nicely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so we're going to take some of this cabbage. Okay. And um, spread it all around, the okay. purple cabbage. You kind of layer it then. Yes. Alternating. Well, I'm going to mix it up with the green one, okay. too. Okay. And make it look pretty. Oh, yeah. And it has different very colors nice. in it. Uh-huh. And so what I'm going to do to make it very decorative is uh -huh. make a little bit of a hole in the center here. Okay. And we're going to add the carrots to oh, it. Oh, nice. Isn't that nice? Very cute. Yeah. I like it. And you've already grated these. And these are already mm -hmm. grated. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we're going to yeah. take the scallions, oh, which yeah. gives it that little extra yes. to the salad. Yes. And we're going to add a few of them here. 
How pretty. In the center, and you could just put a scallion just sticking out, which we'll show at the end, mm -hmm. okay. just to make it very special. And yes. of course, at the end, you can mix it up if you'd like, but uh -huh. it makes the salad look special oh, and so yes. colorful and appetizing. It is. So, you know, it's something really encouraging and to be able to do other salads. Yes. Okay. Yes, I like that. Now, you were telling me, Monica was telling me about um, a young lady that you worked with and that you were able to Yeah, help. I was really encouraged. We have been trying to help a young lady who's yes. been changing her lifestyle. Yes. And she has rheumatoid arthritis, and very young at that. And, and that's tough to have rheumatoid arthritis and be so young. Yes, you know and she changed her lifestyle. Okay. And as long as she can remember, she has always had swollen knees and oh. elbows and everything. Yes. And recently, um, she's been able to be have no swelling anymore. Praise God! And she says she can't oh, remember wonderful. the last time mm -hmm. that she's had no swellings on oh. her and on her joints. And so it's That's encouraging so how God can work with all of us, yes. every one of us. He doesn't leave any of us out and wants right. to improve our health That's and right. better and better. That's right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And to give honor to God. That's right. And the neat thing to me is that God put all these good ingredients for us in the food, all the nutrition that we yes. needed in the food, Monica. It's wonderful to have that. Praise God. Speaking yes. of, we have a dressing. We have a dressing we're going to make. And we've got Brazil nuts. Oh, no. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. We don't always use Brazil nuts, do we? You're right, because our, our to me our staples is like cashews and almonds, almonds and stuff like that. Yeah, but Brazil nuts yeah, are wonderful very to nice. use. Okay. So we're going to use some Brazil nuts, mm -hmm. and we're going to add some olive oil. All of it goes in, okay. Yep, all of it goes in. Now you prefer olive oil to other types of oil? Um, olive oil is a good oil. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And this is, oh, thank you for the spatula. This must be our honey. That's our honey. To yes. give just a little bit of sweetness to the dressing. Yeah, that's good. And some All onion right. powder. Yeah. Garlic salt. The garlic salt. Now you like garlic salt as opposed to regular garlic. Well, you can use just garlic powder mm -hmm. and add some salt. Um, yeah. You can do that. Either one works. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. And some onion powder. Is that onion? Okay. Sea salt. Yeah. And a quarter. Just a little quarter cup of tofu. Okay. Just give it that little, little bit of cream. Bit. Just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, okay. I like that. And then our water. Yes. All right. And we'll put this up here and blend it. There we go. Isn't that simple? It is. And you have I a like nice that. dressing to put on top of your um, salad. And you know what I like, Monica, is that salad with dressings are hard to come by. Yes, they are. You and know, it's nice to have some different variety to choose from. That's right. People really like to have different choices. That's right. And, and depending what you put it on. Mm -hmm. That's right. Everything you buy in the store is, you know, has ingredients in it. Maybe you wouldn't want to eat it. It's got the vinegar. It's got all the other stuff. So this is nice to be yes. able to have that. Yes. And it's yes. wonderful with a cabbage salad. Mm -hmm. You know how some salad dressings are better for certain things than others? Absolutely. This is very nice on cabbage. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to pour it on now, or are you going to wait? We're going to wait. Okay. And we're going <laughs> to, uh, we could go ahead and pour it. Okay. That way we just see what it looks like. Yes. we got a few carrots in here, but. Yes. Oh, yeah. It looks yeah. very nice. nice. Let's just set it down here. Yeah, very, very nice. I like it. It's a very nice dressing. Yes, it is. Yes. Now, you serve a lot of these recipes at your uh, bed and breakfast, right? Yes, we do different um, menus up for the people, uh -huh. and they have choices of those menus. They oh, don't have to nice. have a particular menu. We give them a variety to choose from. So it's kind of like when you go to a hotel. Yes. Really, and you yes. know how they have like on your pillow, and then you can order whatever you want for breakfast, and I'm always thinking, it's too expensive to do that, but yes. you could do that at your bed and breakfast. Yes, and a lot of times you can't get to a place where there's vegan, and people yes. who really choose want to do that, it's Absolutely. a wonderful opportunity. Oh, of course. And give them that little extra special care, yes. because it's a very personal, family-oriented kind of oh, ministry. Oh, yes, that's right. That's yeah. wonderful. And you and your husband do it, and yes. several other families there? or There's other ladies that help us. Okay, yes. very yeah. nice. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, I want to go there. <laughs> yeah. I would love to have you. Yeah, that would be real fun. Okay. Well, in just a moment, friends, we will be back to show you all the final products that we made here today. We hope you've enjoyed cooking with Monica. Now let's take a moment to review our vegetable entree recipes. For our cheesy potatoes, you need four large potatoes cooked and cubed, 
one small onion chopped, one half cup cashews, one teaspoon sea salt, one half cup of water, one tablespoon arrowroot, one large carrot, one half cup water, and two teaspoons of tahini. For the carrot celery burger, you will need one 16 ounce package of carrots, three stalks of celery, one cup almonds, two cups vegetable stock, one half cup pumpkin seeds, one tablespoon onion salt, one tablespoon onion powder, one teaspoon celery salt, one teaspoon garlic salt, one half teaspoon garlic granules, one half teaspoon sage, two and a half cups quick oats, one cube tofu crumbled. For our cabbage salad, you will need one small cabbage, two carrots, one and one half cup purple cabbage, and three chives. For the dressing, you will need one third cup Brazil nuts, one half teaspoon sea salt, one teaspoon honey, one tablespoon olive oil, one fourth cup tofu, one fourth teaspoon garlic powder, one half teaspoon onion powder, one half teaspoon garlic salt, one half cup water. If you'd like more information on how to contact Monica or if you would like to receive today's recipes, please write to 3ABM. Post Office Box 220, West Frankfort, Illinois, 62896, or call 1-800-752-3226. That number again, 1-800-752-3226. Welcome back, friends. We're here with this delicious spread of food, aren't we, Monica? Yes, we are. All, Isn't it lovely? All these entrees that you can yeah. make for your family if you're in a rush trying to get home and stuff. We gave you lots of creative ideas. I know I'm going to try to use some of them. Yeah, my prayer is it'll encourage you and yeah, help yes. you yeah. for new ideas, new menus. That's good. Praise God. Let's look at what we made today. Okay. We started we with our potatoes. Cheesy potatoes. Yes. And it's something that you could add to any kind of a burger or a vegetable and make oh, a nice. nice balanced meal. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very tasty. And then we went to our, our cabbage our salad. Cabbage salad with our little scallion sticking out here. It, it just gives that little extra. It makes it special. Oh, yeah. It's very cute. And it's a good way to use your salad instead of just lettuce and stuff. Yes. I like that. Yes. Very much. Okay. And then our burgers. Well, we've got our carrot celery burgers, which we talked about earlier. And yeah. there's so many different ways of using the burgers and adding it yes. to, like in the pocket breads, as we had shared before. That's right. And, and it's then just, we got our dressing. Our dressing. I love that. A good recipe for healthy dressing. Yes. For cabbage really salad, did that? Yes. Oh, it's very nice with the carrots, too. It makes it really cute. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you for coming, Monica. It and was for a pleasure. sharing your talents it with our friends fun. at home. We had a really good time. Yes, we yes. did. Well, friends, we hope you had as much fun as we had today cooking for you. And until we see you next time, we hope that you take these recipes to your heart, that you enjoy them, that you work with them, feed them to your families. And until we see you next time, God bless you and keep you.